third example from our test review today. Um, so notice I have two square roots um, on this, in this equation. So hopefully you're thinking um, the way to undo a square root is to square it. But because I have two of them, I am eventually going to have to square root this problem twice. So I can only do one at a time. So what I want to do is I want to isolate, make sure one of my square roots is off by itself because then I, I can square both sides of my equation. So remember, a square and a square root cancel each other out. So on this side, we just end up with 2x plus 4. But on this side, if I have something uh, being squared, I have to write it out twice. So this is going to be um, 4 plus the square root of x minus 5 twice. Because now I'm going to have to FOIL this out. So when I FOIL this out, my first two terms are going to give me 16. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times the square root of x minus 5, I really can't do anything with that, so it's just going to be 4 times the square root of x minus 5. My middle two terms, I'm going to get the same thing, so plus another 4 x minus 5s. Now, the square root of x minus 5 times the square root of x minus 5, so let's do this over on the side. This is the square root of x minus 5, but basically, because I have two of them, when I do the last two, they become squared. Well, the square root of a square cancels out, so I just end up with plus x minus 5. Basically, what I end up with is the guts on the inside of the square root. So when I take two square roots that are the same, and I square them, the square and the square root cancel out, and you're just left with what's inside. So now I want to combine some like terms. I've got some numbers here I can combine. So 16 minus 5 is 11. This x right here, a lot of people lose this x, so be very careful. I've got a plus x. I'm going to put it out front just to make sure I don't lose it. And then last but not least, if I have four apples and I have another four apples, don't I have a total of eight apples? So if I have four of something and another four of something, all together I have eight somethings. So in this case, it's eight x minus fives. So this side didn't change at all, two x plus four. So now what I can do is I can get, I remember at the beginning I wanted to have this square root by itself, so I need to get this square root by itself. So I can simply minus 11 and minus x from both sides, so minus x and minus 11. And when I do that, I end up with x minus 7 equals, so those went away, and then I just have 8 square roots of x minus 5. So the square root is basically by itself. That 8 out front is okay. I could divide by 8, but then I'm going to have a fraction. It gets a little uglier. If you do that, um, you can still keep going, but it's easier actually here at this point if I just square at this point because these two things are not being added or subtracted. They're just being multiplied. So on the right side, don't I have x minus 7 times another x minus 7? Be very careful. It is not x squared minus 49. I have to FOIL it out, just like I did up here. So when I do that, I end up with x squared minus 7x minus another 7x plus 49. And I can summarize that with x squared minus 14x plus 49. So that's the left side. And on the right side, so these two things are just being multiplied. So off to the side, if I have two things being multiplied and I square them, isn't that just going to be a squared b squared? Remember that rule? So if I have two things being multiplied, I'm simply going to square my 8, so I'm going to get 64. And just like we did up here, what is the square root of x minus 5 squared? Well, don't they cancel each other out? So I just end up with the guts. Remember I talked about the guts of this, this square root? So that's just x minus 5. But please put it in parentheses, really important point right there. Put it in parentheses because I need to distribute that 64. So this is going to become 64x minus 320. If you don't put the parentheses there, you're very likely just to put 64x minus 5. So be careful. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to work to get a quadratic because if I can get everything on one side and get a quadratic, then I can use either completing the square, factoring, or um, quadratic formula. So if I move everything over the other side, I end up getting x squared minus 78x plus 369 equals 0. 
So there's my quadratic. Trust me, it does not factor. So I'm going to have to use quadratic formula now. So um, I'm going to assume that you know how to do that. That's the opposite of b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's just do 78 plus or minus in the inside. When I do work all that out, I get 4608 all over 2. Remember, if that's positive, I have two square two roots. And then if I simplify that a little bit more, I end up getting what is that? 48 root 2. So I get 78 plus or minus 48 root 2 all over 2. And then the last thing I can do, remember it is totally valid to cancel these. If they do cancel, they all are divisible by 2. So I end up getting 39. This is 24, and that goes away. So 39 plus or minus 24 root 2 is your final answer.